have been trying to get this turbo off of the manifold but there is no possibility what I did is I just took my manifold off of my head took out all the bolts to the time and chain cover and I already pried it apart all the way around so we're gonna go ahead and take it off right now Still got some play right there, but it is what it is. We're gonna go ahead and change it anyway, so. What up, everybody? So, we're back, part two of this video. So, I just showed you guys how I took off the cover. <coughs> So my next step is to actually take this 14 millimeter socket and ratchet right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take it, put it right there on those bolts. We're gonna loosen that one and also loosen this one since the head's gonna be coming off. All right, that's number two. Now that that's loosened, you guys can go ahead and take off your time and chain. Okay, so we got the time and chain off and the guides and the tensioners. It's naked, the bottom chain is still on because of the oil pump, I haven't taken that off yet. But my next step is to go ahead and take off the cam caps and then take out each cam. Just an FYI to anybody that hasn't dealt with the caliber, like I haven't, I noticed I1, I2, I3, I4 for intake, E1, E2, E3, E4 exhaust. I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Now that I have all of my can caps nice and loose and I have the bolts unthreaded so you can see that every single one is already loose. What I'm going to do is start with the exhaust and what I'm going to do is pick up each cam cap and move it to the front. And be careful, do not drop these bolts. Be very careful. You guys can go ahead and cut out a piece of cardboard also and smash these things into them so they hold right up in line if you want to. But I've done this before on my Neon. I have them on a cardboard box like I explained early in the video. All taken off and placed on a cardboard box. Go ahead and take this uh, cam gear um, strap I guess you could say. Put it right there away from everything so you don't drop that. Go ahead and take your exhaust cam out. Lift it right up. Put it right there. Then go ahead and put your cam caps back on and screw them in. Just so you don't misplace them, you don't drop them. You don't drop a bolt into the head. So I'm gonna go ahead and take 
the exhaust cam and I'm gonna go put that in my passenger side floor. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the intake cam. Same thing you did before. Lift. Over there, put your cam caps back on. There you go, that's how you take out your cams. Now I'm gonna go put this one in with the other one. Okay. Before I get into anything, you guys, I just want to go over a little bit of basically what has been going down for the past few days. Um, I went out and I went to Lowe's and Home Depot just to find a T55. I ended up getting a 3 8 inch drive T55 short neck, which released this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. But yet, I couldn't get to the four corners, so I had to go out, spend $10 at Napa for a long neck t55 half inch drive socket this reaches this one this one and this one but to get to this one and this one you have to go ahead and remove this end cap and then there is a another cap right there you have to take off so what i did is i took a little flathead screwdriver and just basically pried it up very gently you don't need much pressure do not get any type of scratches in there, you guys. So put that aside, and then your long T55 will actually be able to fit in there, no problem. This one, no problem. You don't have to remove any cap here. I'm gonna put my gloves on. I'm gonna go ahead and take out my 10 head bolts. They're already loose. I'm gonna use my T55 long. I'm not sure if it'll come out all the way, but uh, yeah, they will. So there's one. And don't reuse these. Do not. Mind you guys, I went in a sequence because Sam Lider, he is another Caliber SRT4 owner. He lives in New Jersey. Shout out to him for helping me out and messaging me and telling me that I needed a T55 long neck. Because when he told me, that went over my head and I totally forgot to get one. So today is the day, you guys. I'm going to be taking my head off to show you guys and bring it down to the machine shop. This is real life right now. So I had to go inside and go get my new Hopper Freight Bauer power tool. But you can see it's an impactor. But yeah, make this job go a little faster. Go ahead and take the last six head bolts out and then we're going to separate the head from the block <laughs> yeah we got them all out guys so that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oem head bolts not sure if they were reused but uh they're not being reused in my end Oh, you see that? Oh, sort of nervous. Ready? One, two, two and a half, three. It's off. And that is my exhaust manifold gasket. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and place this down for a second. Right back onto the block. Okay, now I'm gonna go inside and go get a roller so I can bring it down to the machinist. I got my cat. So I'm gonna slap it right on there.
Well, here we have it, guys. There's my pistons. Let's go ahead and take that off. Everything seems fine down here. What do you guys think? Leave what you think in the comments below. So I just came back from the machine shop and this is what the cylinder head looks like all cleaned up. I just haven't had him resurface it yet.